hello everyone and welcome to my channel and my new kitchen I am chef Christy and today I am frying chicken oh my goodness this is the ultimate fried chicken and I'm gonna show you how to do it step by step so make sure that you subscribe to my channel because I'm sharing simple and delicious recipes every single week and if you hit that little notification bell then you will know as soon as I upload a new video. Alright, so let me show you how I made this delicious fried chicken. Okay, I have eight pieces of chicken here with the skin and bone in and so then I'm just going to salt and pepper each each side. I turn it over and do the other side. All right. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I have two cups of a buttermilk and I'm going to add some hot sauce. And just use whatever hot sauce you like, your favorite hot sauce, and however much you want. I'm gonna do about one or two tablespoons. I'm just gonna stir that to, together. And then I'm just gonna pour this buttermilk right over my chicken. You want to make sure that your chicken is really good and coated in the buttermilk. All right, so this is it. Now I'm just going to cover this and place this in my refrigerator for at least four hours, but I'm going to do mine overnight. Overnight is best. So once your chicken has marinated in the refrigerator, the next step is to dredge it into a flour mixture. And so what I have here is a Ziploc bag with two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And to this, I'm going to add a half of a cup of cornstarch. Now the cornstarch just really ensures that you have a nice, crispy, crunchy crust on your fried chicken. And then the next thing that you want to do is add your seasonings. So what I am using is one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of onion powder, and one teaspoon of garlic powder. And then I'm going to add this directly to my flour and cornstarch. And I'm also going to add one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, and then I just shake my bag and mix up all the seasonings in that flour. Okay, so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of fold my bag down just a little because I'm going to drop one piece of chicken into this bag and then I'm gonna shake, shake, shake. But make sure that your chicken is nicely coated with that buttermilk. So I'm gonna drop it in there and I'm gonna shake, shake, shake. Making sure it's nicely coated. And then I'm going to take a sheet tray that I have aligned with aluminum foil. And this is just so it's an easy cleanup. We gotta keep it easy. And I'm gonna take this piece of chicken right out of this bag and place onto this aluminum foil. And then I'm just gonna keep, keep dredging this chicken. All right. 
right, my last piece. It's a good old wing. Does anybody else like the wing? Me and my son, we love the wings. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this up, get my oil ready, and that will give my chicken a good amount of time to rest. And it's very important to allow that flour to just sit on that chicken for about 15 minutes or so just to ensure that it will adhere really good to the chicken. All right, so here we go. Cleaning up my mess. All right, I'm going to use my good old 12 inch deep cast iron skillet. There's nothing better than frying chicken in an iron skillet. And I'm going to use some good old vegetable oil. Now there's a variety of oils that you can use, anything that has a high smoke point, but today I'm just using a vegetable oil. Okay, so when filling your skillet with oil, you want to make sure that you leave plenty of room at the top. Now remember, this is a deep skillet. If you have a skillet that's not quite as deep, again, just leave plenty of room at the top. And then you're just gonna wanna let it get hot. And you wanna let it come up until it's about 350 degrees. If you have a thermometer, you can check your oil. If you do not have a thermometer, that's okay. I will show you how you can check your oil to see if it's hot enough. All right, so to test your oil to see if it's hot, one little trick is to take the end of a wooden spoon and kind of place in the center. And if you see the bubbles, then you know that it's hot. And the other trick is just to drop a little piece of flour and it starts to bubble up. Again, you know it's hot. Okay, so once your oil is hot, then I'm just gonna drop my chicken into the oil carefully placing it so it doesn't splash. And I'm starting with my dark meat. Okay, you do not want to overcrowd, so four pieces at a time. I've got two drumsticks and two wings and that is plenty for now. So I'm just going to let this cook for about 10 minutes. Okay, so my chicken has been cooking for about five minutes on each side. And that is a lot quicker than normal just because I'm going to let this finish cooking in the oven. This makes the process go a little bit quicker. But the next thing that I want to show you is I have another sheet tray here lined with aluminum foil. And then I have a cooling rack that I've placed on top of my tray. And then I'm going to take some nonstick spray and spray my cooling rack. And this just keeps the chicken from sticking to the cooling rack. And then I'm just going to place my chicken directly onto this cooling rack. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to add my thighs. Okay, so next I'm going to place my chicken in the oven and it's set at 325 degrees. We just need this chicken to get to the internal temperature of 165. So if you have a thermometer, you can test it to make sure that it's completely cooked. But this will also keep it nice and hot while I'm continuing to fry my other chicken. Now 
now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and test some of these, uh, the thighs and the, the drum just to see if it's done, if it's cooked, I'm going to go ahead and take it out. Yes, it reaches 165. So I'm going to pull these pieces off and then I'm going to put the breasts back in the oven to, to let them finish cooking. This is an easy cleanup. Ta-da! All right, y'all. Does this not look like a beautiful plate of chicken? <laughs> I'm just saying. And I'm curious to know, what is your favorite piece? Mine is the thighs and the drumstick. That's my favorite. So that is what I am going to try. I'm going to have a leg. I love this. And this skin is crispy, crunchy, delicious. It is so good. Oh my gosh. It is so moist and tender and flavorful. I really hope that you give this a try. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day. And I will see you soon with more recipes.